and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Jacinta, my cosmetic illustrious nurse, who's going to perform microdermabrasion. Never had it ever done before other than exfoliating of my own home. So today at Victorian Laser Skin Clinic in Hawthorne in Melbourne, Australia. And Jacinda, tell me what you're going to do to me today. Okay, so we're doing a microdermabrasion. So basically it's a mechanical exfoliant of the dead skin cells off the surface. It helps clean out our pores and it uh, basically gets rid of blackheads. So Is it going to hurt? No, it's not painful at all. Okay, I've said before, I've only done an exfoliation at home like most of you have, but this is a professional procedure done by a qualified cosmetic nurse. So with, without any further ado, let's get started. Sounds good. Okay, we're about to start now. I'm lying down on the bed. I've got my hair in the net and Jacinta, take it away. Perfect. So we're going to start off with a gentle cleanse to remove your makeup. So we're using Skinstitute, which is an Australian brand. Fantastic. So it's all natural ingredients. Just to take my makeup off. Yep, so this will take your makeup off. We might have to do a double cleanse just make to it. make sure there's it's all removed. Thank you. So Jacinda, how long have you been doing cosmetic procedures and facials and scrubs and all the rest of it? Almost two years now. Fantastic. I've been at the clinic. Yeah. Feeling okay? I'm feeling this is wonderful. This is almost like having a massage. <laughs> Now we're just removing the actual cream. Yep, so we're just removing the cleanser. And then we'll do a second cleanse just to remove the rest of the makeup. Okay. Micro. The microdermabrasion. What is it actually, how does the skin benefit from this procedure? Um, so it's helping oxygenate our skin. So right. it's drawing blood circulation to the surface. So our blood obviously can deliver nutrients um, to the cells. Um, so it's cleaning out our pores, removing that layer of dead skin cells, removing any blackheads. And if there's any bacteria under the skin, it's gonna draw it out. So you might find side effects wise, you might get a, like a few pimples come out, but that was always gonna come out at some point okay. and it's just speeding up that process. Cleaning out your skin, which right. is really beneficial if you've got like, you know, you've been out and the environment's quite polluted, so it's good to clean out the dirt and the bacteria. So we're just doing a second cleanse now. So it's like if you go to the dentist for a clean every six months, it's like cleaning out your skin. So we recommend doing it maybe every kind of six to eight weeks. Okay. You could even do it once a month if you wanted to. The next step to center is? So we're doing a glycolic cleanse. So this is the second step of the micro. So we just did a double gentle cleanse, but this helps to purify the skin and um, it's got glycolic acid in it. So it's very um, it's good for exfoliating, removing any impurities. Perfect. So some side effects you might expect from a micro would be redness, mm -hmm. a little bit of tightness. You might get a bit of flaking just while the dead skin cells kind of that layer of skin's flaking off a little bit. Might get a mild outbreak depending on your skin type, but it's pretty like a mild treatment compared to some other facials that we have. I always get um, redness no matter what, what, I do, <laughs> what I do. So this cleanser is something that you could use maybe two to three times a week. So it's okay. a bit stronger. It's definitely not something that you'd use every day. You'll probably be able to smell the glycolic acid. Yeah, I do. It's quite strong, so it's, yeah. but it's really good for your skin. So generally, I use the gentle cleanser every day to remove makeup, but then this I'll use a few times a week in the shower. I can feel the tingling on my skin, but to me, that's an indicator that something's working. That was the third step of the micro. Yep. So we're using the larger head today. Okay, and then. For the after that, for the smaller areas, we're going to swap over to that smaller head for the nose. Got it. Perfect. All right, so we'll start with the forehead. Yep. So it kind of feels a little bit like sandpaper. Does that feel okay? Yeah, it feels fine. It's like it's sucking on the skin. Is that what it's doing? Yeah, so it's just removing that. Um, it's a little bit abrasive. Right. It's just removing those dead skin cells, making it a bit smoother and softer to touch and drawing uh, blood circulation to the skin. So is it like sanding your skin, is it? 
Yeah, but like in a nicer way, I yeah. guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's our lymphatic system to drain away any waste that might be under the skin. So it's important that we don't turn it up too high um, for our clients because if you do, then they'll end up with bruising. So that's the worst side effect that you could probably get from a micro. So you can see a little bit of flaking on the skin. So it's hard, prob probably a bit hard to see, but it's definitely coming up a little bit. And it just is removing any old makeup that might be stuck in the skin as well. No, I'm not prone to blackheads, I'm prone to whiteheads. Oh, whereabouts do you get them? Around the nose. Okay. And I don't know why that is. The pores are just probably too open, I guess. Face, and now we're doing the nose, are we? Yep, so we're just going to do the smaller areas with the smaller head. So we'll do the okay. nose next and around the chin and around the lip area and upper lip as well. Okay. Perfect. Also offer micro needling, which is really good for enlarged pores. It helps reduce them a little bit. It. And we also offer LED red light therapy, which is good for redness and it's really good for post facials. Um, okay. and it's very healing. Really good for rosacea. So yeah, your skin will definitely feel a lot softer. Love it. Yeah, after Great. this, it's really nice. And the makeup will, be, will apply better? Yeah, it'll sit nicely. It's the procedure of the micro abrasion, is that right? Yes. So now, just so, filter, we're doing what? Now I'm just, I don't know if you guys want to see it, I've just taken out the filter, so that's the filter there. A lot of dead skin cells. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. So that's oh, all the, makeup and dead skin cells. That's um, come off the skin. That's come off the skin. So we've just done a mild micro today, just because of the, the redness, sure. um, just to make sure, you know, it's not too harsh on the skin. Fantastic. So we'll chuck that out and we'll do the next step. So the next step, we're using the Enzymatic Micro Peel. So that's another Skinstitute brand. So it's got papaya in it, so it really helps reduce the redness on the face. So we'll just massage that into the face now. Might feel a little bit tingly and stingy, but that's okay. quite normal because we've just removed a layer of skin. Is that feeling okay? Feels fine. It smells nice as well. Yeah, I think it's the papaya. It's really nice. pop on the multi-active mist so basically it's got vitamin b in it which is really lacking in a lot of australian skin so right. it's really good for hydration and just uh, yeah. basically through winter we get pretty dry so yes. it's really good for that um, also helps protect our skin from pollutants and free radical damage so i'll pop some of that on now i'll just okay. get you to close your eyes pop some of that on all done. Fantastic. Okay, everybody, so that's it. That is the procedure all finished. As you can see, I've got redness, but that's nothing new when it comes to my skin because obviously I've got very sensitive skin, so any microabrasion or any exfoliation, this is going to be the result. So how long do you think the redness will last just in time? Um, it really depends from person to person. So a lot of people, some people won't even go red at all, and then some people will go very red like they've been in the sun for a bit too long. So um, you'll feel a little bit tired, um, get a, might get a bit of flaking. And really important aftercare is to not exercise for the next 24 to 48 hours, just because we don't want any heat in that area. We do want to keep the skin nice and cool and hydrated. So yeah. really important to moisturize when you get home. No hot showers, for so no hot water on the face. And just warm or cold showers is fine. And so tonight you can just do a gentle cleanse if you like and then just really moisturize because you're gonna feel a little bit dry. Okay, yeah. so tomorrow everybody, I shall be looking as my normal self, but a hundred times better and you'll see the post or after effects of this particular microderma <laughs> abrasion. So on that note everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up and I shall link Victoria Laser and Skin Clinic in Hawthorne. So please, if you're in the vicinity in the Hawthorne or Melbourne, please give Jacinta a call and she'll look after you like a million dollars.
So I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Bye for now. Thanks guys. Thank you.